Hey, Melissa here. I'm at Dragon Man's and I'm just making this uh, short video to not to totally interrupt uh, what we do here on a day to day basis. But um, I do feel like it's our responsibility to educate the general public as to what's going on. Obviously, we're a farm store and there is a proposed assault weapons ban bill that just passed the House here in Colorado. Um, made a video about it last week and talking about politics like this is not always fun. A lot of gun throwers don't want to do it. And obviously, it's it's really not fun for all of you guys to hear about. Um, but I thought that I'd make the video to just keep you guys up to date and educated on what's going on. So on Tuesday, I actually went to the Capitol to testify against this bill. And um, I am signed up to testify against the onslaught of many bills coming up, which you can too. I just want to thank the people who actually did uh, come up to me and um, tell me that they were there to testify as well. They recognized me and um, because of the video that I made, they were there testifying too. So I really appreciated you guys who actually took time out of your day to testify via Zoom and so forth. There was over 13 hours of testimony, over 560 people um, testifying in opposition of the bill and only 130 people in favor. And some people waited hours and hours to testify and yet the House representatives still voted to pass the bill. Uh, so very discouraging to make us feel like our voices were not heard. And now it will go up to the Senate. So essentially, I, I just want you guys to not feel like you are defeated and that there, there is still hope. Uh, there is a lot of steps, a lot of hurdles that this bill has to go through in order to be passed. And I just want to let you guys know what you can do to negating uh, this bill from potentially being passed. So I'm going to put a link in here to email and call the representatives who will be voting on this bill on the Senate floor. There will be another Senate testimony hearing. So we need even more people to show up, even more people to testify. Uh, the date has not been announced yet. So once we do know of that date, I'll more than likely make another video to where you can sign up via Zoom and let them know that Barrett 50 cal should not be banned. Um, a lot of these semi-automatic uh, rifles, it's essentially banning all semi-automatic rifles that are not a bolt action. It's essentially banning a lot of uh, semi-automatic pistols that have a threaded barrel, a huge wave of shotguns, um, whole brands, IWI, BNT, uh, Daniel Defense, a ton of brands that you won't even be able to buy. And this will be impacting people all over the state in a huge way, it will be banning essentially 80% of the firearms that you wish to buy now, five years from now, um, who knows when, because it will take years to appeal it if it gets passed. So I'm also gonna put a link in here to sign the petition from Rocky Mountain Gun Owners. They wanna get over 500,000 people to sign it. You can go ahead and use the link to sign that. I'm also gonna put a link to figure out what representatives are in your local district so you can directly email them. All right, guys, thank you much so much for watching. And we are all united in this fight against this. So I'm really encouraging you to do something. If these representatives just get one call, one voicemail, they're going to ignore it. But if they get a ton of people leaving voicemails, a ton of people calling, a uh, ton of emails, then, you know, hopefully it will make a difference. And thanks for watching. And um, come on down to Dragon Man's. We are opening the museum April 14th. We'll have a mini machine gun shoot April 13th and 14th. And we're open Tuesday through Sunday, uh, 930 to 4. Our ranges are only $12 per person. Come out and shoot. And um, we appreciate you guys. See ya.